Alrighty, and here we are. Um, this one here is going to prove that the obtuse scaling triangle is still half of a rectangle. So if you remember from the first video, here is my first rectangle. Um, I split this rectangle up into two equal parts, and when I did that, you can see I still have that 90 degrees right there. Now below um, this rectangle here, I have the same size rectangle, and I have them color-coded as well. And so we have to remember that the corner of each rectangle is 90 degrees. I'll just mark it here so that later on we can actually show that the base and height never change. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take this rectangle and I'm actually going to kind of shimmy it this way. Um, maybe you can't see it very well. I'll just keep it like this. Um, just like before, I can move my rectangle, I can split it up, I can rotate the two pieces, and the area never changes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just match up my sides over here. Okay, So I'll match them up right there. And you can see I have my height right there, and my top base over there, and my bottom base down here. Okay. Um, when I do this, I'm going to now just tape my pieces together, so my trusty tape. As I tape them together, uh, I'll just have to move my camera a bit. We should be able to see that I've made a new shape. And the shape that I've made is, um, if you know it, it's a parallelogram. Parallelogram which has opposite sides are parallel to each other. Okay. With this parallelogram, what I'm going to do again is I'm going to do just like I did before with my rectangle. I'm going to take this acute angle and that acute angle. I'm going to draw a line and cut them in half. Okay. Uh, remember, this here is a full rectangle. I've just moved this piece from there. It's a full rectangle. So the area of this parallelogram is still the same as the area of this rectangle, which is the base times height. Okay. So as I place this back here, I'm just going to freehandedly cut this. Now it won't be perfect because I am doing freehand, but I think you'll get the idea. So as I cut, doo -doo 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 -doo. there we go. So I've cut it, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to re-show you again. As I pull it away, I have my parallelogram, and my parallelogram is split in two. And you can quite obviously it's not equal, but it's supposed to be. Now that it's split in two, remember that this parallelogram still is the same area as this rectangle. This base of this parallelogram is the same as the base of this rectangle. The base of this triangle is still the same as the base of this rectangle. And we can see how my corners match up. But what's very important to realize, and this is what I was saying before, that the base of the triangle is the same as the base of the rectangle, but the the length of the side, the side is not the same as the height. So as you can see here, my height is right here. This is all my height. So it's from the top, the top tip, because this is the top tip corner, all the way down to here. So what actually happens is often when we have this obtuse with this scaling angle right here, we're going to show that the base of the triangle is the base of the triangle here, and then the height is going to be the same over here. Maybe this might be a little better visual. As I move over here, this is the height of the triangle. This is the base of the triangle. And then I have imaginary dotted lines to show that these actually match up. And when they match up, they match up in a fashion of 90 degrees. And to help you with that, I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm just going to make this kind of like dotted just so we can see the difference between the solid line and the dotted line. We see here, I have my imaginary dotted line with my height here. So I have half of this base times this height because the base and height are always perpendicular to each other because the base and height is the right angle of the rectangle. Okay, I hope that clears up for you. I hope it sees that the height and the side of the triangle are not the same and that this still proves that this type of triangle is still half of the area of a rectangle because it's half of a parallelogram, which is the same as a rectangle. Alrighty, catch you in the next one.